Once you've finished adjusting your project, it will need to be exported. This takes all the elements and adjustments for each image in your project and combines them to create new image files which can be used outside of PhotoKey 4. The Batch Export Toolset found in PhotoKey 4 Pro allows you to export multiple images at once. Just as in the standard version of PhotoKey 4, however, you can export the currently selected image in PhotoKey 4 Pro by clicking the Canvas Export button in the toolbar at the top left of the work area, marked by the green arrow icon. Or, in the File menu, you can select the Canvas Export command found there. Or, if you prefer keyboard shortcuts, you can use Command-E on a Mac or Control-E on Windows to perform the same function. Once an image has been exported, it will be tagged with a green arrow in the image list of the Batch Export toolset as well as the list found in the Import toolset, so you can easily keep track of which images have already been processed. You can also export individual images from the Batch Export list by selecting the image, then right-clicking and choosing Export Selected Images from the pop-up menu. And again, once we have completed that process, the green arrow in the list now indicates that that image has also been exported. However, the true strength of PhotoKey 4 Pro lies in its automation and the ability to export multiple images at once in a batch. The Batch Export Toolset contains two panels. At the top is the Export Options panel, and below is the Batch Export List. The Export Options panel allows you to choose your preferred image format. For high quality work, we recommend using the PNG or TIFF formats. JPEG is excellent for keeping small file sizes, if you only have limited hard drive space or if you wanted to email the image, for example. The quality slider only applies to the JPEG format. Images will be exported with the same file name as the original files, but you can add a prefix or postfix to the file names using these two fields. A tag in one of these fields can make it easy to quickly distinguish between processed and unprocessed versions of a single file. The batch export list displays all your imported images. The batched icon is used to identify the images you wish to include in the batch when you export. Before performing a batch export, you need to tag at least one image as batched by clicking the icon next to the image name in the batch export list. This will add that image to the batch list. When you perform a batch export, only images with this icon activated will be exported. If you change your mind about a specific image, you can always remove images from the batch list by clicking the icon once again. This means you only ever need to export the images you want and don't need to waste time processing any images that you've decided not to use. While going through and adjusting the images in PhotoKey 4 Pro, you can also use the Batched button in the Batch Controls palette to add or remove the selected image from the batch list. If you wish to add all your imported images to the batch, you can select the first image, then shift-click the final image to select all of the images in between. Then right-click and choose Add Selected Images to Batch List from the pop-up menu. You can remove images from the list in the same way by selecting one image, then shift-clicking to select all of the images in between. If you wish to add or remove individual images from the selection, you can command click or control click if you're using Windows to add or remove specific images from the selection. Once you've set up the batch export list the way you want, with only the desired images included and tagged with the batched icon, click the batch export button to select a folder in which to store the new images. After selecting the folder, all the images on your export list will be exported using the format and naming conventions you set in the Export Options panel. A new feature in version 4 of PhotoKey Pro is the Auto Export tool. This button is only displayed if you have imported your images using a hot folder and is designed primarily for working with a tethered camera. So if you're using the hot folder option, then once auto export is activated, the entire PhotoKey process 
becomes fully automated so that as soon as you capture a new image with your tethered camera, it is imported into PhotoKey 4 Pro, processed using whatever adjustments you have specified, and then exported using the format and naming conventions you've selected, all without any interaction on your part. Since auto-export works immediately on any imported image, it is not necessary to tag images as batched for auto-export. Every image that is imported will be processed automatically. Any images which have already been exported and are tagged with the green arrow in the batch export list will not be processed by the auto-export. It will only select and process imported images which have not yet been exported. If you wish to return to the tool set so that you can make further adjustments to the images in PhotoKey, you will need to hit Stop to disable the auto-export mode. This returns you to the standard batch export processing method. When you finish your adjustments, if you wish to return to auto-export mode, after you click the button, it will resume exporting all of the images without a green export marker. Well, this video brings to an end our look at the basic tools and features of FX Home PhotoKey 4 and PhotoKey 4 Pro. Thanks for watching, and I certainly hope you found them informative. We welcome any feedback or comments, so if there was anything you thought could be improved or felt needed further explaining, let us know, and perhaps we can work it into future videos. Keep your eyes open for additional videos in the future, which will focus on more advanced techniques and tricks of the trade that you can use in FX Home Photo Key 4.